The Olden World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 524 Against the Wall Melia and Granada kept their horns lit as brightly as they could, forcing back the shadows and preventing the enemies from sneaking so long as they weren't offered cover. But it didn't matter. Packed thick enough that some had to fly over the shoulders of others to fit, a disorganized, chaotic mash of pirates plucked the passage, the dark greens and blues and violets of their coats blending together in a dusky writhing of fur and leather. No, you eat a sock! The late twirl, slipping herself within a hair's breadth for three swords at once, dodging and defending and keeping the mass from bearing down on her allies. Shinesburg wasn't able to help. This was the end of the reinforcement line, and the moment they had stopped moving, more bad ponies trickled out of nowhere to pile on and join the fight from behind them. Whiz! Slash! Gerardo's sword flew, but at best, they were holding on both fronts and making no progress on either. Valet hit the floor, sliding along the rough boards and smashing her hooves into a stallion's leg, dropping him. Before she could even try to grapple him or use him as a weapon, a thrown dagger forced her to flatten her ears to avoid losing them, and she brought her hooves up instead to intercept a peg leg aimed for her eye. She reared up and flapped her wings, forcing back the peg leg pony's charge, but had to bring up her hind legs too to kick away a slash aimed at her belly, and a stallion easily forced back the power of her wings alone. <laughs> Valet spun in midair, landing on her forehoofs, encountering with a powerful rear legged smash to the attacker's face. He was bowled backwards, taking out two opponents in his fall, but there were still flyers coming. She didn't even have time to take a breath before launching herself to face them. Hey! Sparky! She grunted, punching and pinning a stallion's wing to the roof before slapping him and thrusting him into another. You gotta push, and while you're at it, throw the ones you're done with over this way. We gotta clog the passage with bodies. Morbid as the thought was, it was her best hope. Between the big peg-legged stallion and everyone she had felled before, the floor was starting to get too filled for anyone to approach her on hoof. Some of the bad ponies had started hauling away their injured companions, though the effort was hindered by there being nowhere else in the corridor to put them. At this point, she wasn't sure they could get through the passage even if they did take out every last enemy there. As paddles, Shinesbuck snapped back, a loud clang of metal against armor ringing out. I'm very busy not dying here. Yeah! Valet winced, but there was nothing she could do to defend that flank. Puddles! You want to do something? Why, Puddles? Puddles moaned, staggering up beside Valet and immediately getting impaled by a rapier. She stared at it with wide eyes. Whoa! Valet didn't give herself time to gasp, coming down with bald forehooves on the pirate who had done the deed, then shoulder slamming him for good measure. That opened her up to a swing from the pony she had been fighting though, and she had to block it with her hoof, earning a painful chip and a suddenly bad position. Puddles, don't! She rolled, trying to be anywhere but on her back against a wave of foes. Puddles looked at the rapier in shock, then in anger immediately lucid and standing straighter. You hurt Puddles, she whimpered. You hurt Puddles! Don't you know that's rude? The rapier forcefully ejected itself, its wound crackling and sealing with teal energy. Puddles glared at the wall of bat ponies, then tapped the ground with a magic hoof, and a forest of ice spikes burst forth and rose all the way to the ceiling. Chaotic screaming rang out from the pirates as everyone was either impaled or sandwiched against someone who was. Puddles' eyes flashed, and she stuck her tongue out at a mare who was caught midway up. One of her extended wings ran through. Valet stumbled backwards, actually nauseous from the sight. Whoa! That's... okay, one way to... We're still gonna need to get through there, you know. She shook herself out of it, whipping round to Shinespark now that Puddles had this side. Her armor was scratched and one of her cheeks bleeding, and she waved Gerardo's sword threateningly before a pack of terrified opponents, though far fewer than Puddles was now holding off. And she didn't see any trace of stunned or limp ponies for them to be terrified of. What? Ah! Valet took a single step closer, raising an eyebrow and taking the badly needed time to pant. Suddenly, a single bat pony screeched and hurtled towards Shinespark, snapping from the tension. Swish! The blade flew crosswise, but they were ready and ducked. They weren't ready for it to loop around and catch them from below, and it did, earning a spasm before flipping around in midair and plunging into their back, dispersing them into a fading cutie mark and a cloud of dull gray ash. The sight made Valet's blood freeze, and she only regained movement when she realized 
Shinesburg was crying. All right, idiots, Valley snarled, stalking forward and putting herself between her friend and the terrified army. What's it gonna take to make you realize we're not worth messing with? Grape juice, translate. Grape juice barked something in Cerosian. They had the pirate's attention, however tentative it might be. Well, Vali stomped a hoof, plainly aware of the icy, grisly sight they could see behind her. You speak in a sacrilegious tongue, a mirror from the crowd hit back, and invaded our ship. You have every right to die painfully. Vali gave her a deadpan stare. Yeah, you pirates. You messed with my ship first, and I'm here because I chased you back after kicking your ears. You idiots brought me on yourself, so what are you willing to do to make me go away? No, I'm in a hurry. The pirates who could understand her snarled, and those who couldn't looked even more scared as Grape Juice continued translating. Valet didn't stop there, taking another aggressive step forward. Force isn't working. You can't beat me, and my friends are strong too. You see how many dudes are messed up back there? You really want to throw your lives away for this? Just let me get my way. Bananas, I order you to stand aside and leave me alone by virtue of being the strongest pony here. Another mare glowered, pointing a hoof at Grape Juice. She's not accurately translating, she snarled. She's saying you're a herald of the Night Mother and have her divine power. Huh? You mean a nightmare module? Valet shrugged with imposing nonchalance. Yeah, I've messed around with those before. Didn't really think I needed them, though. Ying broke out as a stallion loudly protested something and was suddenly punched by another. Ears flicked and several strong rebukes sounded, and faster than an avalanche could appear, the pirates were fighting each other in a desperate melee, quite a few trying to run. Valet gave Grape Juice an incredulous look. You dudes have problems. Grape Juice gave a cheeky grin. Uh-huh. I might have set up a little extra here and there, but who cares, am I right? Also, you might want to pay attention to the weirdos in the ice again. End of chapter 524